Welcome to our training pen. We have a small outside box, which I'm going to introduce you to in just a minute. And that's where we do our weanling training. You can put adults in a box, very similar. It just depends on what size your llamas are. We built it to the size we wanted. It's just custom made. And we have lots of uh, shelves and things, so you can do vaccinations in there and put your, or maybe put a brush outside and you have some reach through spots. This is pretty nice. So come on in, we'll check it out. So one thing that's really, really important is that you can get in and out of your box, but lock the door. So even if the llama runs the door, they can't pop it open. So here you'll see, have a really nice, easy slider. I have a lot of snow, I should have practiced that. <laughs> but once you're inside, it's super easy to shut the door behind the llama once they've come in, reach through and lock it up. So this is just, oh, I can't see what I'm doing and talk at the same time. This was just our design. You don't have to do it the same way, but this worked really well for us. Um, and the idea is that the llama goes in. An adult llama is not able to turn around in this box, which is perfect, because it keeps them facing forward just as you want for training. But the babies can move around a little bit, which is nice, because they're trying to get used to you being in their space. So that's step one. These girls, these sweet little girls and boys here are our weanlings. And this is their first training. <laughs> hey kids. They're pretty friendly because our herd uh, dynamic is quite friendly. Our moms are not scared of us, so the babies have learned not to be scared, but to be touched is going to be all new. So the first thing that we're gonna do is teach them to get into the box. We're gonna just coexist in the same space. And once they've calmed down a little bit from that, then we're gonna start our touch training and then halter training comes after that. All right, so we have two different doors on this shoot. We have this one, which they go in, and then because the moms and, and adults can't turn around, we have a door on the other side as well, so it's kind of like a passageway. A couple other really cool things about our shoot is that we have, I don't know what this wire is called, but the llamas can't jump through it. So if you have nice solid walls on the bottom, but your top is open, we learned this from experience, some of them think they can try to jump out. <laughs> So we try to make any access point, like in my door, I have a small hole down here. It's not so big that the llamas think that they can jump through there. Um, so that when you're building your shoe or coming up with something that works for you, like a horse trailer works pretty well if you have like a small single horse trailer that you can put the llamas in, that works pretty well for training. But then you have to get the llama, you have to catch them in the open and then teach them how to get into the trailer for their training. So it's a little bit backwards which is fine um, and we have done that a lot as well. So let's pull one of these llamas in and we're gonna do a touch training with one of them. There you go. In you go, Bruno. Look at his little legs shake. In you go, step up. So when I'm teaching my babies, I never like to be really aggressive. I want them to be able to figure things out on their own because they're gonna trust me more than me just forcing them to do everything. I might give him a little encouraging um, pressure, but I don't want to like shove his butt in there. There he goes. So this is Bruno. He is, let's see, Bruno was born, oh my gosh, frozen to the ground. <laughs> Bruno was born probably about eight months ago. So he's eight months old and this is his first real training. So it's gonna be short because all weanling trainings are pretty short. We're gonna do some touching, we're gonna do some coexisting in this box, in this new scary space, and that's gonna be it for today. And then we'll let him out, and uh, we'll do halter training a different day. So you can see Bruno's already trying to figure out how to get out of here. Hi. You can't fit, you're too big. So for now, we're just coexisting. I'm letting him be in here. He's nervous, but I'm not applying any pressure except just standing here. But I'm not touching him, I'm not approaching him. And I might move my position a couple of different times so that he gets used to me being around. Once he enters my space, like he just did, see, he, he's not scared to stand next to me. That's good. So now I can kind of approach him now that he's comfortable enough being in here. When I go to approach babies, I want to have control pretty immediately. So I always go for the neck and we learn that this is the neutral place. So me touching his neck from the front or the back is going to be neutral and not have any problems with that. And that might be all I do. He was nice and calm. I let him go. He did a good job. 
So next time, I'm gonna come in again, and I want him to stand nice and still when I approach him. If he's running all around, I might have to step back and let him get comfortable again. Hey, buddy. Hi. I never want him to leave on his terms, so he, he panicked. Once he relaxes, so you can see he's still not relaxed. In a normal llama position, when he's relaxed, then I can let go and step away. And now he needs to have another panic, so I'm gonna step back and let him be nervous in this box again. So I think one of the very most important parts about training llamas is for them to be comfortable in my space, and I don't want to force them to do anything. So these first couple of training sessions, like I said, they're very short and you're not gonna feel like you're doing anything, but you're just teaching respect that he has to respect your boundaries and also acceptance that you're gonna be in his space and it's okay. So you might leave him in the box to get comfortable for a minute and then go inside and apply just a little bit of what I call pressure. It just means that it's new, it's different. He's learning something. And then make sure that he's nice and relaxed and calm before you go to the next step. So I'm gonna go back in. We're gonna do a little bit of touching this time. I'm gonna to touch his feet, his legs, his belly, his back, down his arms, his chest, and his face. And I want him to stay pretty still. If he really panics, we're gonna go back to square one, which is just touching in the neutral space on the neck until he relaxes. So I'm gonna do this gloves off because it's easier for me to feel what he's feeling and to feel his subtle panics. You can see he's trying to bust out of here. But we are going to approach Bruno. Do you think you can turn around for me? I don't like them to be shoved in a corner. Good. Good boy. He's for sure going to to you. Let's do his head first. So same approach as with the adult. I want him to hold nice and still. And his ears. Across the top of the head. Up you go. Stand nice and tall like a good llama. A lot of llamas have the tendency to put their heads down in the ground like an ostrich. Back to neutral, because we're freak out. But you don't want you don't want to train a llama with its head in the incorrect position. You don't want to train him that when, when I'm touching your head, I want you to put your head on the ground. Always want to be up in the nice tall llama position. And then we're gonna reach for a lip too. And I might use my leg to press into his chest when he's trying to run in front of me. And I'm gonna use my hand on his neck to pull him back. Good, good job. Once we're done with one section of the training, I'm gonna let him just have a minute and take a breath and process what we just did. If he did a good job the first time, I'm not gonna repeat it. He did great. So now we're gonna move on. We're gonna touch his feet and then we're gonna let him go. We'll tip maybe a little bit of belly, a little bit of chest, and then, and then he'll be all done. All right, Mr. Bruno. So now I'm engaged again, always touching in that neutral place. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on his back. This is me teaching him that he needs to stand still. And he doesn't know that yet, so he's probably not gonna stand still. But I'm gonna reach under and touch him on the chest. I just like to hold pressure underneath there. It doesn't need to be, I don't need to tickle it. I just wanna put pressure so he feels that it's okay for me to touch there. And then with his foot, easy. I'm gonna go nice and slow, but if you can get to here and he can stay calm, that's enough. Let's grab it this time, okay? Can you grab it this time? Foot. Once he relaxes his leg and lets me have it, I'm gonna put it back down. Bruno did pretty well. He didn't get all the way through all the training things that I had planned for him today, but he doesn't need to go at my pace. He needs to go at Bruno's pace. So we got to touch a back leg, pick up a foot, touch his face, and he got to learn the word stand. So it was introduced to him today. Stand means hold still. 
You can pick your own word. Stand is not the only appropriate word. And then I always say foot. So if I'm reaching for a foot, I tell him foot every time. And that way, later when I go to clip his toenails, I can say foot and he will be expecting me to grab at his legs and it won't be a surprise. All right, little buddy. The most important part for finishing training is that you are the leader. You don't want him to run out of here hog wild like a psycho. I wanna go out first and then let him come out in his own time. That way he has to pass me and come into my space. So from this side, I'm gonna come over here and open the door. You're gonna to have to turn back around, little friend. And then I stand in his space for him to leave. It makes them a little uncomfortable, but they get really used to it. And then it's no big deal later on. So that's it, friends. That is touch training with weanlings. It is different than with an adult because they're so much smaller and they learn so much more quickly. It's all very, very passive, never ever aggressive with babies because they will learn that really, really quickly. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's gonna be a ton more training videos coming your way. Check out the next ones. They're gonna be awesome. We are so glad you tuned in today. We'll see you next time.